Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. I'm Storm Track 7 Chief Meteorologist Mark Schnackenberg. Chance for a few showers overnight, still breezy. More rain chances here tomorrow, still breezy. And then the wind kicks up even more as we get into the day on Friday. We just can't shake this wind. And on Friday, we've got some more rain chances in the picture, and it becomes a bit more widespread as we get into the day on Saturday. Wind gusts tonight and tomorrow, gusting to 30 miles an hour. It's out of the east here for tonight, southeast here during the day tomorrow. Here's a look at the cloud cover expected as we head through the overnight hours. After midnight, a little better chance of seeing a few showers in towards your morning commute. Morning commute could be a bit wet and into the early part of the afternoon hours. As we get into the afternoon, I think a little less of a chance at some rain, uh, but definitely a cloudy sky and breezy and cool. 40s north, 50s to our south, maybe some low 60 if we get a peak of sunshine. As we get into the overnight hours, uh, another chance for a couple of light showers. Rain amounts tomorrow, about a quarter of an inch or less. But notice it says a half inch to an inch and a half, but this is through Saturday. A bulk of our rain comes Friday night through the day on Saturday. So here's how it looks. Risk of severe weather associated with that storm system. This is for Friday. It's off to our south and west and up to a level three out of five in through portions of Nebraska and Kansas. Uh, we do see uh, some stronger thunderstorms possible in southwestern Iowa, but I think we'll remain severe weather free as we get into our neck of the woods. Now, here's the, again, the risk of severe weather is off to the south and west. We'll have clouds around here on Friday, a couple of spotty light showers. Uh, as we get into the evening and into the overnight hours, here's 11 o'clock looking at rain across eastern Iowa. That rain continues through the overnight hours, a couple of thunderstorms. Here's Saturday morning, we'll still have rain and some isolated thunderstorms. As we get towards the later part of the afternoon, five, six o'clock, we'll probably start to dry out if the position of the area of low pressure remains to our north and west with its current track, and that'll pull in some dry air. Uh, it's what we call a dry slot, and that'll get us maybe a little peak of sunshine and some drier weather here for the evening hours. If the track of the low is to the west, well, this is the kind of rain that we'll have during the evening hours. So we'll have to watch this. Hopefully we'll get a little bit of dry air into the mix as we head into the late afternoon or late evening hours on Saturday. And then for severe weather, as we get into the day on Saturday, that is off to our south and east. Again, that was to our west on Friday. Any risk of severe weather would be to our south. Nothing when it comes to severe weather around here, but it's going to be a soggy Saturday. Again, rain amounts could be up around an inch and a half as a total between now and Saturday evening. Temperatures tonight dropping down into the middle 30s north, close to 40 in our southern counties. During the day tomorrow, upper 40s north, middle to upper 50s to the south. Again, a chilly day. Normal highs are continuing to increase now up into the middle 60s. And your city by city forecast for Waterloo, Dubuque, Cedar Rapids, and Iowa City. Some light rain here on Thursday, a spotty shower or two Friday. Friday night in through Saturday, that's going to be your wet day. Temperatures will get into the lower 60s with a gusty south and southeast wind, eventually turning to the west as we get into the day on Sunday. It'll be windy. Uh, as we get into Saturday, a little less on the wind on Sunday, a lot of clouds around. There may be a lingering shower on Sunday. I think maybe a better chance will be across our northern counties. And then Monday and Tuesday will be dry. Some isolated rain chances there Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. But look at the temperatures. It is going to remain below normal. Highs only in the 50s, overnight lows in the 40s.